What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my fall home decor house tour. This has been requested tons of times, so I'm going to show you guys around. So come on in. All right. So when you first walk in the house, I will also preface this by saying Sam and I do rent. We do not own this house. We are renting for a year and we'll see where we go from there. So when you walk in the house, it's this little entryway. There is a main level bathroom slash room right here. And then over here, we just have a little closet. We keep a lot of miscellaneous things in there. I won't show it, it's kind of messy right now. But this rug, I guess I'll start with the rug. This rug is from Home Goods. I have a couple of these that are very similar, very affordable, very inexpensive. So that's where that's from for the entryway here. We just have a little basket with some shoes, just easy to grab coming in and out right there. Also TJ Maxx and HomeGoods. 99% of this stuff will probably be TJ or HomeGoods because that's it's where you find the affordable stuff. So this little setup right here is probably one of my favorites in the whole house. Kind of going off the rustic farmhouse modern -y look. I would say that the house is rustic and modern slash farmhouse because there's lots of pieces, especially this light fixture right up here that definitely is modern. So there's little pieces and my mom was talking to me earlier and kind of saying as kind of like eclectic, keeping little things, pieces here and there, modern, farmhouse, rustic, whatever you like, traditional. So this window I got at a thrift store in a local, local to my hometown and you basically can find these anywhere. Just find a window and you can put a wreath on it and to answer the question of how I put the wreath on it, you just take some little tacks and Gently put them in there and put a wreath on it. So, this is from Home Goods. This wreath right here, and the welcome sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have some fall accents on this little welcome table. Also, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, all of it's TJ Maxx. This whole thing is TJ Maxx, everything. TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So, then you walk forward here, and this ladder is thanks to my mom for styling this. We just have a little blanket on here style ladder so many different ways you could put a basket up here or a couple different things so it'll be fun to style throughout the season so Okay, and then when you do first walk in, we have this main bathroom, so I'll just give you guys a peek of this. Oops. Just a cute little, you can go ahead and walk in here and take a peek, just a cute little stall bathroom, and it's just on the main level, which is perfect. Everybody can come in and use this one. We really love this bathroom. Cute little fall decor. That sign up there is actually from TJ Maxx, and the candle is as well. The wicker is from Hobby Lobby and just a few little miscellaneous pieces. Poopery is not from Hobby Lobby. Nice little mirror. So this is just a nice little bathroom to have. We really like this basic main level that people can hop in here and go to. So then you walk in and this is probably my favorite aspect of the whole house is how open it is. It's very, very large both ceilings goes up you can see over top it just makes the space feel so much bigger so this is obviously our living room lots to kind of talk about in here but it's got really good lighting and we just enjoy being in here a lot especially with it being so open. so this couch right here take a look at the couch it is from homemakers and we got this for around six hundred dollars and we got this when we moved into our first apartment and it's very affordable and it's worked out really well for us. It's a sectional for our first one. So that's where that's from. And then these pillows, if you want to take a closer look at the pillows, they're pretty much all Target, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. I will link what I can, I promise. I will try my best to do that because a lot of it can be linked and some of it can't. So that's the pillows, lots of fall. Good transition pieces. This yellow one would be really pretty in the summer too. I just all the fall colors. This clock right here is I got this at Home Goods, but I know that it is sold at Pier One, so I will link it down below from Pier One. It's a little bit more expensive, so if you can find it at Home Goods or TJ Maxx, that's ideal. And then over here we just have this little side table with some fall florals. This whole video is supposed to be centered around fall, so I'm trying to show the fall pieces the most. 
but this is a floral arrangement that my mom and I put together from Hobby Lobby. So we just took these little ball pieces here and these light little floral pieces and made it big. So there's a lot in there, but you can basically take any sort of florals you want and put them together. And big thing that my mom's filming this right now, but she has always taught me to fluff things and to move things around, make it look bigger than what you might think, and it just kind of fills up the space and looks really pretty. So that is Hobby Lobby. The base is TJ Maxx, and this little pumpkin actually lights up, and it's from TJ Maxx for $14.99, so it's not a very bright light, but it does. Basket is Hobby Lobby, and this is just nice to kind of keep little things in here. I normally keep Sam and I laptop chargers in there because I hate stuff being out and out. Apologize for the lawnmower. I live in a very busy neighborhood, so. This Choose Joy sign is actually from Smallwood Homes. I have a lot of signs from them. I love their stuff, and it's just super pretty. It's a good thing this is actually around Christmas time that I got this, but I think that it's super pretty for all seasons, so that's that. This little ottoman I've had for two years now. I got this from TJ Maxx, actually, and it's seen its better days, but we're making use of it for now and possibly going to get a different coffee table in the future, but I don't have a whole lot on here because I actually moved everything that I had in here up to this piece over here, which I'll show you guys, but have some room spray from Target. If you've never had this room spray, it's absolutely phenomenal. We have it in our kitchen and in a couple other spots too. It's amazing. It's by Chip and Joanna Magnolia. And just some little matches here. And then this shelf up here is one of my favorites of the fall decor. So pretty, so many different accents. We have the fall florals up there. Some pumpkins, these are all Hobby Lobby pumpkins, TJ Maxx sign. Uh, the rustic piece back there is actually from a thrift store as well. And some different miscellaneous things, but this whole thing is Hobby Lobby pumpkins besides the piece up there. So, super fun. I like the pumpkins because these can be layered or they don't have to be. They're really cute and rustic-y, rustic -y farmhouse looking. Wicker pumpkins, I like that they're wicker. Okay, so this next section, this is actually new. I love this so much. My mom and I saw this piece when we were looking at Hobby Lobby one night and I had to go back and get it the next day. So this piece is from Home Goods, Home Goods and this was very, I think it was $300. This was $300, so pretty inexpensive for this kind of piece. It is giving that rustic, farmhouse-y feel, so I really was in love with it. I love all the detailing on it. These little, I can think of what these are called. Spindles. 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 So, very, very nice. And the reason I liked it the most is because of the storage. So I have two baskets down here. I got both of these. This kind of keeps my hydro drugs and stuff in there. I got these from the Home Goods as well. Just cheap little baskets that are perfect. You can move them around. You can do one there, one there. Mix it all around. And I'm not completely done decorating this. I'm just kind of playing around with stuff. I have some of my favorite books here. A little fall accent also from Home Goods. So that's that. We keep a lot of our scents and stuff in here. This is my Scentsy collection, candle stuff. I still need to fill these up, but lots of good stuff in here. I love that. And then over here, I just have some pumpkins from TJ Maxx. Candles, this is from TJ. This one is, uh, oh my gosh, Bath and Body Works. These are my absolute favorite candles. I've talked about these on Instagram so many times. They are the best three-wick candles ever. And then I get a lot of questions on this, actually a lot. This is from TJ Maxx. This is just a little candle holder. You can put the three wicks in there or you can get the big ones at TJ, which is what's in there right now. So that's that. And then of course, Liz Marie Galvin's book. If you haven't got this book and you like farmhouse style, you definitely need to pick it up. Super, super good book. My mom got this for me as a gift actually last week. So cute, so, so cute. All right, and then we'll take a peek at my gallery wall here. It's gonna be kind of hard to see with the reflection of the sun, but this gallery wall is basically done by Ikea. So these frames are 12 by 16, and I ordered 12 by 18 prints for them because that's all that I could find anywhere, and I got the prints from Walmart, so that's where I get the prints for these frames. And we just fill them up. I like the black with the color. You could do black and white. You could do so many amazing things with gallery walls, so. That is how I did that, very inexpensive. It's probably the most inexpensive way I found to do a gallery wall with, was with the Ikea frames. 
fireplace is probably my second favorite aspect of the entire house. I walked in here and knew that I wanted this one because of the fireplace that goes all the way up. We just did some fun little fall accents up here. I kind of had to move things around because we got the Sonos speaker. It's missing an S on it, ignore that. But the Sonos speaker is Alexa. 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 I promise she works. Alexa, play country music. Shuffling country kind of look from Spotify. Okay. Alexa, stop. So that is our Alexa. She is amazing normally, but obviously for the video she had to be a dick. So up here I just have some random fall pieces. These candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby. These are great transitional pieces as well. A few pumpkins. These little pumpkins are like $3.99 from Hobby Lobby. Those are great. This lights up. This is a timer. So this comes on every night around 7 and it stays on for 5 hours, which is awesome. And this pumpkin patch sign actually lights up, but it's not lit up right now. But I had to do some maneuvering with this whole setup here because I didn't want the cord from the sound system to show, so come closer, I'll show you guys how I did this. This is just a tip for anybody who has the same issue. So back here, I have the cord actually taped to the candlestick and going up behind the TV because I don't want cords showing. If you follow me on Instagram and know me, I hate cords showing. So that is how I hid the Sonos speaker cord and I highly recommend the Sonos. If you are looking for a sound bar, this is a buildable sound system. This is not sponsored by Sonos. Seriously, we love this. So. That is the fireplace. And then this basket here is from Hobby Lobby and we have it filled with just really cozy blankets. Sam is a big blanket guy, so we fill that bad boy up. So that is the fireplace. All right, so this next chair is actually from Slumberland. This furniture is not match-match. These are different shades, as you can tell with all my pieces. They are all different colors of neutral. That is perfectly okay, especially in if you're going for a farmhouse theme, if you're not going for perfect perfection everywhere, which is the absolute opposite of what I go for. You can do different shades of things and mix your neutrals. So this shade of this chair was what sold me. My aunt had it and I loved it because you can fit two people on here and it's just super comfortable. You can look at the TV. I just love this chair so much. So it was really affordable. It was $400 and it's super comfortable. Easy to move around as well. This pillow is from Target and that blanket is from TJ Maxx. Just a little fall touch to the living room. Another fall blanket. I have like 20 blankets. Y'all know that. I always talk about blanket obsession. So that is that chair. It fits perfect right from that window. I forgot to say that the W, I get asked about that all the time. The W is from Hobby Lobby last year, two years ago at Christmas time. They don't have them anymore. They're not that big. So if you're looking for a letter, they might come. I think they're seasonal around Christmas time. So that's where I got that. So this little chair, not chair, this little table is from Home Goods. I think this was $60 has the stripes in it. Again, mixing colors, mixing patterns, mixing different things to give it that vibe. And it has the little spindles here that are a little bit uh, distressed too. So I'm gonna make that. And then we're gonna move into the dining room and kitchen, but this mirror right here is from TJ Maxx, I believe. So it's that. Over here I just have a lantern that's also a great transitional piece. Obviously we put this on there, but you can make this in summer, fall, any summer, fall, winter, anything. 
So I love having pieces like that. Pumpkins and a little cute wreath, all from TJ Maxx. And then we're gonna go into the kitchen, dining room right here. Like I said, this is so, 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 so awesome. I love the setup in here. This is the biggest kitchen I've ever lived in renting. And we really like this space in general that it's all open. So this table is actually something we bought off Facebook, Facebook, Facebook sales. We got it for a hundred bucks. It was like an oak brown. And we actually, my mom and I completely repainted it and distressed it. She did most of the work on the table. So kudos to my mom. She's very good at distressing things. So that's how we got the table and I love it. If you look at it, I believe it's originally from Ikea. So it's probably really expensive. It's the perfect definition of a farmhouse table. So that's that. And then the wicker chairs, there's one on each side. The wicker chairs are from Amazon. You can get them in a set of two. I will link those down below. And these metal ones, we just wanted to do a little bit of different, different, different vibes. And those are also from Amazon and they were in a set of four. And for the fall pieces in here, these florals, like I said, you have a glass right here and you can change out for seasons. These are from Hobby Lobby. And I just like, I don't even know what these are called, but I just like the way that they look. They're super, I don't know what the word is, but I really, really like these in the kitchen. And then we just filled this basket here with some, what are these called? Yeah. This is like a bag of potpourri just spread out here Get in this basket up. and these pumpkins were individual. We just kind of mixed it together to make it look fall and all from TJ Maxx. And then if you move over here, this shelf and the other one that was in the living room is from Ikea actually. They're both from Ikea and we just transitioned them out each season and lots of different pieces on here but most of this is Hobby Lobby and a couple things are TJ Maxx but that's where most of this stuff is and I switch these out for the seasons. You can do different florals. You could do, uh, last year for Christmas, I did Christmas bulbs. You can kind of move it around and play. So, yeah. And then over here, I just have this cute little wicker basket, which is from Hobby Lobby and just some florals. We played around with spreading this out. These colors were a little bright and I wasn't sure if I wanted them in the house this year, but I decided to put them in the kitchen just to give it a little bit more color. Some pretty florals transitioning when it's coming from like fall to winter, so those. And then the famous sign that you guys bought like crazy from Kirkland's is that I think I love fall most of all, so put that there. And then I have this map that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is definitely not farmhouse, but I really enjoy it in here. I think it looks really good, so that's what matters, and I probably will keep it here for a while, but I got this from Hobby Lobby, and I just love it. All right, and then moving away from the map, these little shelves are from Hobby Lobby as well. So fun, so cute. You can put different things in there, according to season, obviously, but for fall, I just have these cute little light-up acorns. These were from TJ Maxx for like $5.99, and they're so fun. I love looking at this lit up. And then this lantern is also from, I think it's dead. This lantern is also from, hope it's not, uh, TJ Maxx, and it lights up as well. It's tight, so that is that. And then moving into more kitchen stuff, I have a couple different things. Bakery sign right there is from Home Goods. Sorry, you're not really facing that angle, but that is from Home Goods. Really fun in the kitchen. I love the way that it gives the farmhouse vibe. These stools right here are from Amazon as well as these black ones. I got these for my 22nd birthday when we moved into our apartment and I love them. They're so good. You know they're not the comfiest thing to sit on in the world, but they're really cute and I like them. I just need to get a fourth one here. So we'll go ahead and move into the kitchen. Sam's favorite place in the whole house. I love this kitchen because like I said, it kind of pulls the modern feel as well as the dining room lamp, which is not centered around the table. I did not choose it that way. I don't know why it's like that, but different modern pieces that tag into the farmhouse. So we have quite a few different things in here I can tell you guys about. Uh, I will start with some of the stuff up top. The flower sign is tipping back actually, but everything up there is from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Everything in the upper shelvings are all TJ and Home Goods. Just some farmhouse pieces tagged in, Ray Dunn. Um, yeah, so this little, this, 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 this sink is my favorite. I love the fact that this sink does this. That was one of the main reasons I was, and Sam was pretty excited about that. But um, has two different settings. I'm showing you guys because this is one of my favorite aspects of the house. 
and something that I will do when I buy a house. And this little thing right here, we keep all of our stuff in. I have some dish soap, I have some hand soap, and the spray I was talking about from Target, the Pomelo, so good from Magnolia. And these are my favorite soaps to buy as well, so. Over here, we just have this cute little tray. This was from Marshalls. I got this about a year ago and filled it with some of my Ray Dunn plates. These are great little snack plates, desserts, everything like that. And then we also have a Scentsy sitting right here that I have plugged in. That's nice if I'm not gonna do a candle or something like that. That's that. And then these hand towels, the, the ones you're all gonna see in the kitchen are all from Home Goods. I will take you guys over here. This is the little desk coffee nook area. We made this into something not desk-like, but we just have this little organizer right here. I didn't like the idea of having everything out, but there's just so many different things that we need to grab for that I don't have like a mudroom or anything. So we have this little setup here, just some pens, pencils, highlighters, stuff like that we can grab for mail, bills, all that. And then we have the infamous fur bars and oats overnight, my two favorite essentials in the house. We keep them on stock. I actually just filled up the jar today. And then, yeah. Our pantry is kind of a mess. But that's okay, I will just quickly show it to you guys. We got this shelf from Target and it's probably the best thing you've ever gotten if you have a smaller pantry. It's great because it helps you know, take some stuff off the shelves and stuff you don't want to throw in baskets into a shelf. So up here we just have, you know, a lot of different stuff, supplements, butters, all the good stuff. And then I tried to organize it as best I could with these different baskets and these are all from Marshalls and Home Goods. So that's the pantry. Let's see. And then I will take you guys into the kitchen area. This rug, like I said, this is similar to my front rug. This is from Home Goods as well. Home Goods or TJ. I'm pretty sure it's Home Goods, but really inexpensive, affordable rugs if you're looking for rugs. And just a few little different pieces. These are Ray Dunn canisters that I got from one of the three stores, TJ, Home Goods, or Marshalls. And they kind of have different pieces throughout the house, but yeah. Fall Sweet Fall is from Hobby Lobby. And another acorn back there. And then this is our little coffee bar setup. And then we just have some a couple pictures up here, uh, family, friends, weddings, stuff like that. Theo, gotta have Theo out. Always have to have him looking at me in the morning because I love him. So, that's Theo. And yeah, so I think that that is basically the main level. We do have a two car, two stall. We do have a two stall garage right out here, but that's boring and I won't share that with you. It's not very cute in there. So let's go ahead and I will take you guys to the basement. All right. So we are going to go down to the basement. We have some of Sam's album covers right here that he was super excited to layer down the steps. So we have those walking down here. And I will take you guys down to the basement. So we have this old couch back here because we just got this brand new one from Home Goods. This was like a steal of a couch. So we just got this cute little sectional. I really liked it because it's kind of Perfect for a guest to sleep on if somebody's staying or to watch football on with a bunch of friends. So we got that down here and it's very, very comfortable. Few pillows, these are old pillows from the apartment that we just didn't want upstairs anymore. So those are down here. Those are all from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. A couple blankets, same thing. And then it's still kind of bare down here. We haven't fully decorated it. It hasn't been my priority. Upstairs has been my priority, so. Bear with us, I will show you guys more finished stuff as we decorate, but this piece right here is from Home Goods, and this is actually our old stand for the TV at our apartment, and TV, soundbar again, just a cute little piece to have a candle in, and then this shelf over here is a little bit more filled up. We just have some of Single Speeds Brewery, uh, what are those called? I can't think of what those are called, but that is where Sam used to work when we lived in uh, Waterloo, so that's kind of memorable for him to have. And then Chicago, because we're big Chicago fans, we were obviously going to move there, so lots of pieces from Chicago, pictures and stuff we need to hang up, but that's that. That shelf is from Hobby Lobby. I got that around Christmas time, two years ago. So. This chair needs to be thrown away, but this is one of my old... Uh, one of my old house things when I first lived in my very first house in college and this was from Ikea. I bought this from a friend and 
This is something we're gonna hang up. This is actually super memorable to Sam. This is his dad's blanket that he used the whole time he was in his hospitalization before he passed away last year. So we're gonna find a way to put that up and make like a memoir wall at some point here. And then if you flip around, like I said, it's still bare. There's not much on the walls, but that Chicago, North Rush Street, uh, all the main sh streets in Chicago, that's from uh, Home Goods. Home Goods, and we got that in Chicago. So, and then this couch is old. It's going away. We're not keeping it, so that doesn't matter. But we have a little walkway out here. I won't take you guys out there just because these blinds need to be fixed. They're broken. But we just have a little walkway. This is where we keep our grill, and we have a couple chairs down here as well. So that is that. And we do have a backyard. It's just not fenced in at the moment. So that's that. And then I will take you guys over here. We have an extra bedroom. Really nice because we like the house a lot, having the guest bedroom down here. Because when guests stay, they can just have basically the whole entire basement. They have a bathroom. They have a couch. They have a TV. And they have their own room. So I will take you guys in here. This spot needs to be hung right here. But... This is the extra bedroom currently. We still need to get a bed frame and uh, set it up properly. But we have a bed, nightstand, and then this is actually where Sam plays his video games. Nothing very exciting, but that is this room. Nice little guest bedroom that I will decorate more in the future. In here we have an awesome storage room, which isn't very exciting, but we do have a lot of storage. I've been asked where I keep my decorations and extra things. Under the steps. Full little, full little spot. So that's that. And then this is the guest bathroom. So we have four bathrooms in the house total. So this is the basement bathroom and it's pretty standard. Same kind of thing. It's a little bit bigger. Has a nap, full shower, toilet, and a big mirror for whoever to get ready down here. So that is the basement and let's go all the way upstairs. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys upstairs and show you a couple of the rooms. So let's go. All right, so when you first get upstairs, another aspect of the house I'm obsessed with, we have a little light that lights up the steps. This is perfect for a night when I'm home alone or, you know, just in general, it's nice to have those and light up the basement, light up the steps to the main level. So up here is this nice little onlooking of the main level. Love this, love to scare the shit out of Sam, who's on the couch, he's my favorite. So it's good. I really, really love the wide open. It just makes me feel I don't know, I just, I absolutely love how wide and open it is. So that is that up here. So when you walk up and you look to your left, we have the laundry right here. Not very exciting. It's a washer and a dryer in there and just a shelf that we can put all of our laundry stuff in. This room I'm not gonna show you. It's a hot mess right now. This is Sam's room, miscellaneous. This is like, if we were to have a baby, it'd probably go in there. So I have like my shoe rack in there, Sam has a dresser in there, and just a couple things. We haven't really done much with it. So that's that. And then I'll take you guys into my office slash beauty room, which is also kind of messy right now because I'm going to Mexico next week. So that's why I have all my clothes laid out and I will film a haul here shortly. That's why this stuff is laid out. But this is my office. I love, love, love this room. I need to get some sort of couch slash pullout for guests because that would be make this room you know, a little bit more usable if I did have a lot of people staying over, family and stuff, but just have hung up a few different pieces. Those are both from Hobby Lobby. There's not very much fall decor in here, but this is where I do most of my editing. My social media stuff is done in here for the most part, and when I get ready in the morning, it's in here. So this desk is all Ikea. This top piece is something you buy. It's a little big for these, but I like how big it is, so it's, it's worked for me with all of this stuff but these are both from Ikea. This is also from Ikea, and this desk topper is from Ikea here, and everything up here is just kind of miscellaneous. This is my laptop, obviously, that's Apple. This is Hobby Lobby, this is Home Goods. this is Amazon, I'm doing a haul, and we'll show you guys link this stuff up here soon. And these are my blue light glasses, a couple of them just kind of laid out here for when I go to work, or if I want them when I'm working on my computer. Q-tips, and this candle is from Target. This is one of their Magnolia, Candles, these are so good. They're kind of expensive, but they burn good and the smell is amazing. I have me and my mom up here because she's my best friend and I like to look at her during the day. It's one of my favorite pictures. <laughs> so that is the desk, and then this mirror was 40 bucks at Home Goods. So Sam went ahead and hung that for me. Did you hang that for me? I didn't see it. See it. And then if you move over here, this shelf is not really decorated that great, but 
It has a couple pictures of my grandpa. My grandpa passed away in July, and Abby, my friend Abby, actually sent me these frames about a week after. And it's like made my heart really happy. So I put him up here, and I have just a couple little signs. These are all, I believe, TJ Maxx or Home Goods. All of this stuff is besides this letter, which is Hobby Lobby. But a couple pictures there. More candles in there. I need to fix this storage area, but this is a piece that I got from my mom that she painted, so I threw that in here. And then this window sill. These are uh, window pillows, essentially. I don't know. I made them window pillows, and I got them from Home Goods. And that pillow right there is from TJ. I wanted to fallify this room a little bit more, but kind of got to delegate your fall decor. So then this mirror I've had forever is from TJ. And then I told you guys about those signs. And then this is actually my second closet. We don't need to look in it, but I keep my scrubs in here. Dresses, lots of, lots of different stuff in here that isn't my everyday go-to kind of stuff. But this is my haul that I will share with you guys shortly, packing for Mexico. But yeah, that is this room. So let's go down the hallway. All right, so then moving out of the office and the other extra bedrooms. So there's four bedrooms total, four baths. Those are the two rooms right there. And then this is another guest bath in here. I love this bathroom, it's so pretty. It's girly, I think that it's just like a relaxation bathroom. And I've I've took a bath in there one time, but I hate baths, so it won't happen again. But that's what this is for. So if you come in here, this shower curtain is from Home Goods. Pretty, pretty paisley. I love the colors in there. Easy to pull pink, blue, greens, and kind of play around with stuff in here. But this sign is Hobby Lobby. This is Home Goods. These are TJ Maxx. And then just some miscellaneous stuff on top of the counter. We don't use this bathroom a whole lot. This is more of a, if we were to have a child or something in another room, they kind of overdid it on the bathrooms, but I'm not mad about it. Who doesn't want four toilets? It has a little closet over there and another mirror. So again, with the modern pieces, kind of played throughout the house. This piece right here is from TJ Maxx. I got this a while ago and I love it. I think it takes up a great chunk of the wall, has the farmhouse look to it. It's honestly one of my favorite pieces I've ever bought. So that's that. And then we just have a little storage closet here. We keep linens and random stuff in there. And let's go into the master. All right, so this is Sam in my master bedroom. It's not much of a master, but we'll take it. This room is where we sleep, obviously, and it just kind of has our queen bed, which the bed frame is from Homemakers as well. We got that with our couch, and it's kind of massive. It takes up the whole room, but that is our bed frame. The comforter is from Target. Sam actually picked this out himself, and the pillows are, that pillow is from TJ Maxx. The blankets are from TJ Maxx. And then we have this dresser right here, which is originally from Pier 1, and my mom actually distressed this with me, and uh, Sam's mom gave this to us. So Sam had this with us in our apartment, and we distressed it and made it this white dish color for a farmhouse look. Uh, this Scentsy Warmer is from Target. I can link this below. This is so cute at night, and it's kind of... Uh, gives really, really like relaxy vibes at night. I really like that. It kind of spreads out all over the room, so that's that. And then these signs are from Hobby Lobby. They're still there, so you could check those out. This little metal basket is from TJ Maxx, and we keep blankies in there. I keep my headbands in this wicker basket. All my Hello headbands are in here. And these curtains. So I get asked all the flipping time how I sleep, what do I use. We use blackout curtains, so what we will do is completely close them and it gets the room pretty dark. But we have a sheet that we roll up and put on the top if somebody's sleeping during the day, which is always me, and put that on top if I don't wear my night mask. So that's that. And then these little side tables are from this side table is from Home Goods. I got this because we didn't have matching side tables. I don't really love that hodgepodge look, but we're working with it for now. So that. This little candle holder is from TJ. Super cute. The sheets are just from, I think they're from Target, so nothing really exciting. But this sign right here is from Smallwood Homes. I got this for Christmas, I think. I think this was Christmas, maybe? Yeah, Christmas a couple years ago. This is one of my favorite quotes of all time, so I put this up in here. And then we do have this over looking thing that we could put stuff on. We could put baskets or something cute. I just haven't got to that. Let's go check out the bathroom. 
So this is the master bedroom light. Nope. So this is the master Sorry, bath. I didn't find a device named bathroom. So this is the master bathroom. It has two sinks in here, two mirrors. Not very exciting. It's kind of small. We wish that they would have pulled the third bedroom out and just made a bigger master bedroom bathroom suite, but we like it. So we just have a couple things in here. This little stand is from Home Goods. I don't have very much on it right now, but that is where that's from. The thankful and grateful sign is from TJ Maxx. And we just have our toothbrushes. Uh, a couple signs here. This is from Hobby Lobby, and this shelf is from TJ Maxx. And a couple accents also TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx. And I keep my necklaces, my mini necklaces up there. And then this is my closet. It's not exactly the cleanest, but this is where I keep everything. I have a lot of stuff hang or folded up and then stuff over here. That's why I have two closets because I can't fit everything in there. So yeah. Shower, stand up shower in there. And that is the bathroom. All right, you guys, so that was my furnished fall home decor tour. Shout out to my mom for helping me film. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you saw something maybe you liked, maybe you wanted to know where that was from and I answered your question. If not, just leave a comment down below and I will try to get to it and I will link as much as possible down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. Make sure you share, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.